What's going on, everybody? Blake and Jeff here on Blakey's Jeff Code Kiosk, episode 17. Let's do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> we got to recap what happened last time. Okay. It's not like they haven't seen it. Um, You guys have seen it already, but, eh, you know, uh, Emperor, not trapped. He's back. He's back. He's challenging Lelouch to a battle of basically, basically de- big declared war on him. Yeah, big game of risk. Yeah. Yeah, declared war. Let's see let's see who can capture the rest of the countries. Yeah. And uh and take over the world basically. Yeah. Uh Lelouch of course calls Suzaku and begs him to protect not only and Suzaku says, Meet me at this shrine um so I can kick your ass basically. He didn't say that, but he implies it. He implies it. Uh, that's pretty much everything that happened. I mean, there was some other stuff, but those are the big, broad that's strokes. Big, broad strokes. And uh, Valletta's still missing, speaking of stroking. Yeah, we got Ogie, no Valletta. Yeah. So, we're at a loss. I don't know. Don't know what happened. Don't know what happened. It'll be a cliffhanger that's never resolved. No. <laughs> it better, what if they did? It better be resolved, <laughs> or I'm going to flip out, and I'm going to go down to the Sunrise Headquarters... Mm. Episode 17. Let's do it. If Japan is liberated, the other colony areas of Britannia will spring into action one after another, which would redefine the map of the world. In summation? It's the decisive battle. Has it really been eight years? Eight years since Nanali and I were left on our own at the Kururugi Shrine? That was where we first met Suzaku. I don't need a reason to save who I want to save or do what I want to do! You always were stubborn. But of course... That was the reason. The reason you became the first and only real friend I ever had. And that's why. Why I think I'll take a chance on you, Suzaku. If you can accept me, then perhaps. The Vampire of Britannia! I'm kidding at the same time! Right! Six-way charge attack! Wait! No! <laughs> It'll be all right, Nanami. I expect this war will be over soon. I have a knack for reading these situations. I've had to lie to Nanali. Just the way you have. That's the worst thing. <clears throat> Some friend you were. You've been betraying me all along. Have faith in Zero. How can we? After he brought Orange and that Rolo person into our ranks without conferring with us first. Don't you feel that he's keeping too many secrets from us? All right, just what are you trying to achieve by threatening me, Detard? I need to know. Did you use your Gias power on Yuffie? Be honest. Yes. Why would you use your Gias like that? Accident. Answer me! To motivate the Japanese people. And Shirley's death? Also my fault. You aren't even human, you know that? The face of the kind older brother and the mask of Zero. Which is the real Lelouch? <laughs> Holy sword bestowed upon me by his majesty himself. Just please, you have to save Nanali. I beg of you. I... <clears throat> After everything you've done, you really think this is sufficient? You believe that some bowing and begging is enough to get me to forgive you? Why did you use your gias on me to make me want to live? <clears throat> Why? The gias you used on me that drives me to live has corrupted my convictions. Why would you put such a curse on me? I only did it because I wanted to survive. The look in his eyes. I know that look. The look of torment that comes from bottling up a lie. You told the world a lie when you proclaimed that you were a knight for justice. Why don't you live up to that lie by trying to become a true knight for justice? But how? How could I do that? By putting an end to this war. Bring peace and happiness to the world. If you do that, I'll save Nanali. <laughs> The two of us together, we can accomplish anything. (laughs) What the? Suzaku, you set me up from the start. No, wait. You've done a great deed here, Sir Kudurugi. Excellent work. I understand that you're a Britannian 11 half-breed, right? (laughs) If you chose the name Stotfeld instead of Koski, you could very well have a good life, couldn't you? Is this going somewhere? What I mean is, wouldn't you like to come back over to our side, Colin? Zero, what's taking so long? I 
Can't believe Zero's identity is that of a student. Guilford! How sad. <clears throat> Zero, killer of royalty. It's tragic that it would turn out to be you, my own younger brother. Unfortunately, I'm done with trusting anyone or anything. Because friendship only leads to betrayal. <laughs> Lord Guilford. <laughs> Identify yourself! You're not orange! Wait. I just have a request to ask of you. Whenever you see me assume this pose, you will recognize and acknowledge me as Princess Cornelia. And then... Princess Cornelia! Is that you? Even Lord Guildford has been affected. Now I suppose I have no choice but to believe in this power. I bid you farewell, my first and last friend. Belouche, come back! Wired C response confirmed. Synchronization achieved. Ragnarok backup reinitializing. Tokyo Settlement, I'll bring you to a halt right now! FIRE! What? All tasks at hand have been cleared. Toto! Acknowledged! Now commencing 7th operation! Raise the Ikaruga! Rolo, how are things on your end? Fine. We're beginning the operation right now. We'll make our way to Nonaly first thing. Lelouch. I thought something strange had been going on ever since our brother Clovis was killed. Now I understand. I understand everything. But now, I'm the one controlling the game. Do I have to pilot it? The Lancelot armed with the Flea device? Will I have to use it? On Lelouch? Season 2, episode 17 in the books. What would you think? Uh, I thought it was good. Um... Yeah, I mean, we got exactly what we expected. Yeah. Um, with the confrontation for Suzaku and Lelouch. Well, yes and no, because mm. Lelouch was lying the entire time. But Suzaku could tell. Yes. So. Yes. So even in that situation and scenario, with his sister's life hanging in the balance... As far as he's concerned, he still would not be completely honest. Yeah, it's like he felt it was better to just take as much of the blame as yeah, possible. Yeah, take as much responsibility for everything. Yeah, instead of trying to ex trying to explain the nuances of right. of his power and how things you know got out of control. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Interesting choice. It, hard to hard to kind of. It's like it's hard to think like what what the better decision would have been, you know? Right. It's like I don't know. At the end of the day, if he if he was honest, would it have really? Mattered? Yeah, that's what I said. Would 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 Suzaku have done anything differently? Right. I don't know. I don't know. But he believes he was set up by Suzaku. Yeah. But of course, being Lelouch, he was already two steps ahead. I mean, the man has contingencies. <laughs> yeah. So, Gios Guilford into believing that he is Cornelia whenever he. And he made that little. Does a little symbol. Yeah. Yes. So, gave us a little bit of a fake out, made us think it was Jeremiah okay. going back against what he was doing. But, no, 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 no. It's all Lelouch. Yep. Um, but now they know who he is. Yes, they do know who he is. Schneisel was already suspicious. Which, of course, I mean, yeah. and like, yeah, like the way they explained it, I was like, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, <laughs> of course you are. Schneisel, yeah. I was like, I, I wouldn't even say Schneisel. I mean, like he is. We know he is smart and he's a uh, equally, if not better than Lelouch. Right. Tactically. Um but yeah, like even without that, like pretty obvious. Just tail the person that seems to have a very intimate relationship with Zero. Right. The guy who mysteriously just becomes a knight of the round like overnight. Right. Yeah, like of course follow that dude. Sure. Sure. And it pays off. Yeah. Um and then he questions Suzaku afterwards and it's basically like I need to know everything you know. Gios, Emperor, 
C2, V2, yep. R2, D2. Yeah. All the best. Tell me, yeah, tell me about all of them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. Would the show be infinitely better if it was if one of them was R2 and the other one was D2? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. No C2, no V2, just R2 and D2. Yeah. I agree with that. That would be better. All right, so we got to see the Galahad in action. We got to see him wield Excalibur. Yeah. Which was pretty nice. Looked pretty good. Um, he cut through his, uh, whatever that thing is called, that fucking red yeah. shockwave thing. Yeah. Like, cut through it. He, like, redirected yeah. a blast, like, to other things with it. Pretty nice. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, we also got to see the Knight of Ten. Be a fucking psycho. Be a goddamn psychopath. His weapon's pretty cool, though. It is pretty cool. It, like, spins really fast and becomes, like, a it's crazy like a lance. Lance, yeah. But, yeah, he definitely is a... Uh, I don't know how powerful he is or if he's just, like, it's the element of surprise and the element of fear. Right? Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, that's obviously that's the vampire. Like, he wants you to fear him. Yeah. He wants that reputation to precede him. And then he will let his bloodlust build on that reputation by just killing everyone he possibly can. Yeah. So then people are just naturally afraid of him. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to see um, Shinke die against, um, probably against the Knight of One. Um, probably. I forget his name. Um, Odysseus. No. No. Um, was, was what was the other one? Damn it. Um, oh, man, does it start with a B or is it his nightmare? It's like it's no, a he's B because he's got the Galahad. I feel like it's a B. Bismarck? Yes, Bismarck. Pretty sure that's it. Is that his name? And then he pilots the Galahad. Yeah, Bismarck. Yeah. Yep. And so the battle for Tokyo begins. Yeah. We've got... So they they set it up so that it's basically, like they said, this is the decisive battle. That was the decisive battle. But now Lelouch is enacting a different plan as a result of his terrible meeting with Suzaku. Yeah. Because now he cannot rely on Suzaku protecting Nunnally, so he has to go get her. So Rolo is leading a team to go get her while they use the Gephion Disturber. Disturber yeah. Um, to knock out all the shit so that they can now invade Tokyo Bay. Yeah, I like I like the secret like black ops mm-hmm. mission mm-hmm. Right, but led by Rolo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting because he I mean, yeah, going in I mean, there with Rolo everything could literally just like Oh, well, he could decimate them all on his own. Exactly. <laughs> but that's what's kind of cool about it because it's like they've knocked everything out. It's dark, power's out, and he's going to roll up in there, Rolo up in there. Rolo up and freeze time, gut people. Yeah. Oof. People are just going to be like, "What's going on?" <laughs> Oh Dead. shit! Yeah. Their their own testicles are in their mouth when they wake up. Well, you we have so he's savage, so he is. That is true. Killed Shirley. Yeah, I can't wait to see how Lelouch kills him. Yeah, it's gonna be with uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, you would. Th- it has to be. That's yeah. the only way he probably can. He's gonna use Jeremiah to like. Because I, I don't feel like it's enough for him. Because there's two ways he can do it, right? He just kills Rolo with like a bomb or something like he was in that one episode. He was going to try to do that, explode sure. him in a nightmare or something. But knowing Lelouch, it's like I feel like he wants the dramatic moment of like looking him in the eyes and being like, yeah, I'm the one who beat you. And the only way to do that is by canceling his right. Eos. Right. So he'll have Rolo can- or he'll have uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah cancel his Eos first. Right. That's the only way it could happen. Yeah. And then have but what that means is, is Lelouch going to kill him himself? Maybe. He'll have to actually get his hands dirty. I mean, Clovis. 
True. True. And it would be the appropriate person to kill. Right. You know. Yeah. To get your hands dirty. True. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, we did see Valletta. She was... Yeah. Like So, Detard is basically blackmailing Ogi. Yeah. To keep him with the knights. And doing what he's doing. But now, like, under him? I guess. Does I Detard know. have, like... Does he have, like, ulterior motives? I think he does. Because I think, like, in the previous episode, they were... They were saying something about how he was kind of, like, untrustworthy. I mean, he seems like a schemer. Yeah. So. But Lelouch also knows he's a schemer. Right. So I I don't think it'll lead to anything. It'll just lead to another sort of, like, double turn. Possibly. You know, Lelouch being like, yeah, I knew you were going to scheme against me. Sure, possibly. You you dickhead. But we are getting more and more, like, like talks amongst people. Yeah. You know, trying to trying to convince sure, Toto and stuff. The, yeah, the people with Toto who are trying to be like, hey, who are these fucking new people showing up? And I mean, but they do bring up a good point. They're like, what? What after? Like, what after we take Area Eleven back? Like, then what? Yeah. Like, how long do we keep going under zero without establishing new, like, rulers? You know, is there going to be a new emperor of Japan? Is there, you know, or like a prime minister, or whatever? Yeah. So I don't know. I think like they're they're becoming restless because they're like we can't follow we can't follow zero forever. Right. Like, what's the end game? Sure. Yes. I mean, and that that it makes sense. But you're also talking about something that's happening so quickly. Yeah. It's just strange, like why they're talking about it right now. Like why yeah. are you guys like just like kind of like Toto's saying is like well like just follow his orders. Right. Now we need him. Right. Why are we already trying to like plot against the dude that we need? I don't know. It's just strange. And, like, why? Like, why are we plotting against him? Right. I don't know. It's like people are just becoming, like, restless within the ranks. Potentially. I mean, I'm sure some of it is just they don't know these new people. Yeah. So they don't trust them. That's true. And there's a lot of secrecy because it's like, where the hell is C2 gone? Right. You know, we didn't even know who she was in the beginning. Freaking Zero's always gone off doing something else, and then he brings in some new person. We're just expected to trust this new person. And yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, so there is definitely dissension in the ranks, but we'll just have to see what happens going forward. Yeah. Um. Yeah, okay. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's all I got. Yeah, I don't really have much for this one. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that's going to do it for uh, season two, episode 17. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.